Look what's here. The big old saltwater truck. Right? Ah, ah. The largest venomous snake in the entire world. Oh my gosh, he's so big. For those of you that don't know, Tyler actually got bit by one of these one time. Yeah, I got His bit by His finger's him. gone. Holy smokes. You gotta be careful of that fish. What is going on, Crows? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are doing a couple different things. Of course, it's gonna involve the house. We're always here doing something. We're gonna see Tyler Nolan, which is a great friend of mine, get a little tattoo or something like that. Check out his animals in his entire backyard, which is similar to mine, but he's got a bunch of reptiles and stuff like that. Holy smokes. You gotta be careful of that fish. And then we got some stuff to do on the saltwater ponds. So stick along, stay tuned. Alrighty. Lulu, get a quick bite. First things first, feed the animals. We got a busy day ahead of us. Speaking about busy, my goodness, there is only 55 shirts left. 55, that means we sold 695 shirts. That is crazy, and I wanna just say thank you so much to everyone that's buying these shirts. All orders are being shipped out Friday the 26th. I appreciate all the support and the patience. You guys are absolutely incredible. We're cranking over here. We've shipped out like 600 shirts already, so your orders will be shipped Literally the end of the week, promise that. Like I said, appreciate the patience. These shirts have just been selling like hotcakes. There's 55 left, and that is it. So get them while you can. They're also signed. Coon Coon, what's good, buddy? <laughs> Hi, babe. Hi, buddy. You guys are all oinking today. You know, you'd really be surprised on just how much food these pigs consume. We thought us humans ate a lot. I think these pigs would probably eat themselves to sleep. Question for you guys before we get started. This pond right here has been in my driveway for a while. It's my buddy Nick's. He's not too sure what he wants to do, the whole pond situation yet. So, I'm asking you, the viewers, the audience, the Caferos watching, should I buy this thing? And if we do, what the heck would we do with it? That's my question for you guys in the comments today. Should we buy it? And what the heck are we gonna do with it if we do? Salt water, fresh water, outside pond, inside pond. Can't get it inside the building actually, so that's not happening. What the heck am I gonna do with it if I do get it? Without further ado, sit here and talk all day. Let's get the heck to the road and hit Tyler Nolan's house. We got stuff to do. Wow, look at the colors on that bird. Oh, you got my mic. Smart move, buddy. The colors are insane though. This is like about one of every color you could think of. My camera wants to focus on the bird, not the fence. Oh yeah, buddy's showing off now. Is this guy Spanish, you said? Yes. Hey buddy, Rio. He doesn't speak any English. Hector would get along great with you, you know that? Turkeys, what is it, blue? Yeah. What's up, buddy? Blue. I found Tyler, by the way. It's a big property, but Tyler's here. He's I gotta get boy. some more turkeys from my house. He's awesome, dude. They're honestly, they're some of the sweetest birds that are here. Turkey. I've never been here. This is uh, Tyler Nolan's house. Still have never yeah, been here, first time. which I can't believe I haven't been here. It's first been too time. long. How long have we been here now? Almost a year? A year now, yeah. Yeah, a year. I'm trying to get used to this coop so I can just keep them over here. I got a fence in this whole area. These are dope chickens though. These are all like, what, oh, yeah, silkies? Yeah, all really weird ones, yeah. Like little crazy <laughs> silkies. Egg and... layers. These guys are those naked neck turkeys. Naked neck. It's a nice coop too. I built this thing. You built it? Yep. Wow. Bare hands, man. Wow. Could not say I could do the same. I know Hector could though. Oh, look who it is. You know how much people are going to start commenting to buy, buy a new Gary now that you sh that I've showed it? Hey, hey, say that. There is uh, there's Gary right there. Tyler, did you steal Gary? Maybe. <laughs> bite? Do you bite? Oh, yeah. Maybe one day I'll get another Gary. If this video hits 35,000 likes, I'll get another Gary. How about that? 35,000 likes. That's, that's too easy. But maybe that's because I want another one. Hey, buddy. The goats are the best, bro. The goats they are the best. They are very pregnant right now. Pregnant? Yep. Uh-oh. Yeah, I know. You gonna have some baby goats? I'm not looking forward to it. Hey, buddy. Awesome, He's a good boy. Yeah, I'll tell you what, pregnant. baby goats were my favorite thing I've ever had. Hey, bud. Who's this? That's oh, Gary. Gary. So there's another one sleeping over here. Yeah, they're pretty. Like, I don't know how I'm feeling. They're very used to people. We raised them from tiny little babies. Uh, Gary was actually hatched out of the incubator inside. May wow. 6th, this one was hatched, and May 4th, Gary hatched. Wow. Yeah. Not even a year old, huh? Yep. Oh, obviously I was gonna show you the animals when we got here, but what we're really here for today is to actually get another tattoo. I know. Tyler Nolan, my tattoo artist. He's not only an animal keeper, but does tattoos as well. The last one he did you guys saw too. That was this dove right here. He's about two years old, black throat dragon. He likes you. I do. Oh yeah, he loves me. I got him at the Daytona Expo when he was probably a little younger than a year old. And then at the Boca House, he had his own room. 
that was all windows, and he would just literally free roam our house all day Spoiled. long, just do his own thing. All right, now of course, Tyler Nolan, reptiles, there's uh, gotta be uh, something in here. There's all sorts of things. Hat shack. Oh, we, wow, you actually have like a full setup. Yeah, yeah, this is my little tattoo. All right, so that's where we're doing the tattoo. Last time was in my fish building, now we're in your reptile building. Yep, this is all the snakes and lizards oh, and all sorts of crazy things. We got Kilo right here. So that thing kill me. Yes. That's yes. so awesome to have as a pet, Tyler. That's yep. Just great. He's a leucistic monocled cobra. He was completely venomous. For those of you that don't know, Tyler actually got bit by one of these one time. Yeah, I got His bit by his finger's gone. King cobra. That's this insane. Is... Oh yeah, I'm gonna move. Is... You're nuts, dude. No, no, I'm good. Are you sure you don't want to hold? I'm totally fine. <laughs> that is crazy, bro. Yeah, he's wild. Holy smokes. Just gotta be careful of that thing. Oh, there you go. Dude. Oh, yeah, he's sick. That's awesome. <laughs> dude, you are crazy, bro. Let me hide, dude. You're crazy. That's what being comfortable with your animals looks like. Face to face. Dude. We got a lot of animals, though. I mean, we can go through these all day. Look at these. We gotta, everything kills you in here. Why do you have these? Let's go through all the cool shit. This Will this kill you? Really, oh, yeah. This is oh my gosh. Like awesome. super dead. Oh, man, he's in shit. Crap. I mean, his colors still look pretty cool. So this is a Gabino Viper. So this is a cross between a Gaboon Viper and a Rhinoceros Viper. So normally when he's not in shed, he's very blue right now. Yeah. But those reds are super bright red when he's not in shed. But that just means that he's growing, so that's awesome. I'll show you a female. The female, you can really see her colors, which is in here. Yeah, you're behaving today? All right. Cool. You can see my lens is fully zoomed in right now. I am this far away. So yeah, this is a Gabino female. Wow. You can really see the red on yes, her. Yes, very much. But I'm saying, so. when that when that male sheds, his red yeah. is even way more intense than this. These one. are beautiful snakes, though. I mean, that is a beautiful snake. The longest fangs in the world out of any venomous snake. Sheesh. Their fangs get anywhere between an inch and a half to two inches long. If you like reptiles, especially things that will bite you and holy smokes. Oh yeah, we're taking him out real quick. I'll take it off. Tyler's got it all. Yeah, dude, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna show some. I should things. probably get on this side real of you. Quick. Yeah, definitely. That way I'm not stuck in a corner with you. A little smarter to get over there. All right, Tyler's gonna take out. What is this one? This is Rusty. He is a king cobra. He is four years old, and he's probably about 13 feet long. Nice. The largest venomous snake in the entire world. Oh my gosh, he's so big, dude. They get 14, 15 feet long. They get absolutely gigantic. He is fully venomous, king of the jungle. Dude, what in the heck? He's much chiller than the other one. Way more chill. So you've had him for a while? Had him since he was a little tiny baby. Wow. Yeah, so he knows me. I know him pretty well. Obviously, I don't really take too many chances with him. Yeah. Because he is a king cobra, and I've been bit by a king, and I know what that is like. Next time, probably not going to be so lucky. But yeah, you can it's see. Crazy. Here. Let's put him on the floor. Look how big he is. He's massive. Mm hmm. I mean, from the above angle, you'll be able to see just how big that snake is. That's crazy, dude. Looks like they just pooped last night, but these are gigantic rattlesnakes down here. Holy smokes. Yeah, these rattlesnakes are huge. Wow. Yeah. Those are gigantic. gigantic. It's not as big as the snake that's going stretching from your feet to the thing right now, though. And then we have, uh, so this croc monitor. Um, normally, these lizards are not in this room. These are just temporary cages. Yeah. It's nice and warm in here. It's cold, it's cold outside. Out, yeah. so all the lizards that were outside, we moved them in here for the warmth for the time being. And then we have Cammy over here. She is sweet. Oh, heart. yeah, look at her sleeping. This room is epic, though, dude. I didn't even know you had something like this. Yeah. Of course yeah. he did, but. It's like, I mean, this is. Quarter of the size of your room. But... Hey. So when this... I walked into your room, I was like, damn, I need a bigger freaking room. The, what would you do with the building that I got? You'd have too many things that can kill you. I would fill it up. I would easily. <laughs> Still, I would. So crazy. What a beast. It's okay. What a beast. She said, man, I was sleeping. Why are you messing Yeah, you, you woke me up from my beauty nap. She's so pretty, though. She's beautiful. Yeah, she's awesome. Look at those colors. Yep, she's like, dude, leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> Oh, mm -hmm.
Alright boys and girls, it is 8 o'clock, it's been quite the day, but my goodness, it's hard to, it's hard to, you want to try to film it? That was an existing tattoo and it just went right between, we got these, I love the chips bro. Yeah, this thing. Chips and it's faded a bunch of the older tattoos just right into the whole entire sleeve, so. A lot of ink today, hours and hours inking, but it feels better than ever and it looks better than ever. Hell yeah. Thanks Tyler. Crushed it. <laughs> Look what's here. A big old saltwater truck. It's a lot easier when I got this now, right? Yeah. It's a heck of a lot easier. Salt water is going in. Oh, it's so much better this way. Remember last time I had to roll 300 feet of hose? No more. That thing is completely, it is just connected all the way to the front yard underground and the salt gets pumped right over to here. As you can see, I did a lot of cleaning. I cleaned all the walls of the pond when the water is low. The water is brown like this because we did a copper treatment the last few weeks. With all the tangs and stuff that were coming in, we wanted to just do a copper treatment before a big old water change, and that's exactly what we did. Now the water has a little bit of tannins left, but that's why we have some carbon. We're gonna put some carbon in the pond, and this will clear up, especially after this water change, the water's gonna be clear already. Now this pond behind me, the new one, this is gonna be filled up with salt water soon as well. This is the saltwater predatory pond, massive. As you can see, it is fully coated. Three coats of the pond armor. And as you can see, it is more waterproof than that one ever was. This thing is gonna be just fine. The window is on order, I get that Tuesday. Woo, Tuesday we get that. I'm not sure when this video goes live, maybe I have it already. But we're doing a water change on the saltwater pond. As you can see, it is filling up. And copper with eels and inverts and stuff like that doesn't work, so we had to take those out. We're gonna put them right back in once this is filled back up. These saltwater ponds are a heck of a lot different than that freshwater pond. This freshwater, I haven't touched in gosh knows how long. I mean, you literally just don't need to touch it. Just stays clear, fish do great as you can see, look at them. Look at that platinum, beautiful. And just a couple hours later, look at this. Clean walls, clean water, it looks amazing again. Golly, I could not stand that water tint. That queen is beautiful. What is your favorite fish in this pond? Let me know, whatever your favorite fish in this whole pond is. Comment down below, because there's a whole lot of fish. I mean, we've got a ton of different fish in here. If you've watched all the videos, let me know in the comments down below what your favorite fish is inside the pond. And soon to come, big baby mama's in there. I'm about to feed the pond, and it is just insane how clear it has got just over the last 24 hours. And if you look real closely, some of the fish we don't see much. That's why I have the iPhone out. We had a powder blue from Geo. Geo gave us a couple new fish. But you can see so many more fish once I get the phone out because I could actually zoom in. You'll see all the damsels in the back. There's so many different species. Like, look at that. These are all the fish from the fish tank. See them down there, the chalk bass? The little wrasse down there, the blennies, the Achilles tang right there. Some of these fish are just absolutely stunning and it's hard to get them all on camera all the time. It really is. But if I zoom in, you see more the more you look. But as you can see, it looks absolutely amazing now. Fantastic. And the fish are clearly happier than ever right now. That Achilles is beautiful. There's a fox face from our fish tank. You know why they're all fired up? I got food right here for them. And now we get to, oh, that chunk didn't fully defrost. He's taking advantage of that. The orange shoulder said, that's mine. As you can see though, the fish love feeding time. It is literally their favorite time of the day. Look at all the little fish coming out now. You see all the clownfish and damsels in the back over there? There's so many. They all come out of the rocks. Well, I'm just kicking it at the pond. It's actually so relaxing. Like, look at this. Isn't that just crazy? The walls are all clean. The water's clean. I get to pick up the window for this right here tomorrow. We put the window in, put the tile up here, and put the rock, which you'll see all buying of this in the next video. But we got the rock, we got the rock wall already, we purchased it all, it's all here. This pond is gonna be done by the end of the week. The wait is finally over, I cannot wait to get fish for this. Going to Tyler Nolan's house, getting a tattoo, doing the most important water change we've done yet on this big saltwater pond right here, and now obviously as you can tell, it looks amazing. You know, the walls just needed it. They needed to get in there and get to work, and I did, and it looks great. It looks fantastic, right everyone? You want a piece of seaweed? Take it. Oh yeah, here they come. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The war has begun. So pretty. Look at those colors. Fish are happy. This is getting done this week. Shirts are all shipping out at the end of the week. There's a lot going on. I appreciate your support. Subscribe if you're new. Make sure to hit that like button. And I'll see you right back here, probably finishing this pond in the very next video. Peace.